Our other top story, parts of the eastern United States are still getting smoked today. Yeah, we've talked about this for about three days. More than 100 million Americans under air quality alerts. But there is some relief in sight as we head into the 4th of July holiday weekend. I think that those hazy skies might clear out, I guess just in time for the fireworks display, which produced their own type of smoke. But yesterday's storms, it helped in Chicago just a little bit. They're not cloaked in, in a haze, the skies at least. The AQ is still unhealthy. Some of the worst of the smoke is, is really focused more so in the northeast down to the southeast. In western Pennsylvania, I mean, we're looking at Johnstown, and not much has changed. We still have that hazy sky. New York and Atlanta, a little bit of smoke too. This is lingering. It could linger for a couple of days. But the one thing that we have that's working in our favor, the overall pattern, might allow for the worst of the smoke to eventually move off the East Coast. It might linger on the East Coast for a bit, but we'll have to wait to see what happens really Monday into Tuesday of next week. But the air quality that we're dealing with right now, some of the worst of it that we're seeing is in western New York and parts of PA. This wildfire smoke, it does tend to be the worst too during the morning hours. That's because we deal with a bit of a temperature inversion. That smoke at the surface gets trapped in cities like Chicago and Indianapolis have seen the brunt of the smoke this week. In Pennsylvania, an orange air quality alert is in effect today as we could have that unhealthy air for sensitive groups. But we also have the possibility of seeing even air quality that's worse than that. Fox Weather's Katie Byrne is in Philly. So Katie, as far as the conditions, I'd imagine not much has improved. I mean, it would overall be a pretty nice day, but we're just dealing with a little bit of a haze this morning. Exactly, Stephen. And we're coming off a really rainy week, so I think a lot of people kind of had cabin fever. They were excited to get outside, and now we're dealing with these poor air quality alerts. So it's just one of those things that everyone is talking about. And when you look at the skyline behind me, you're talking about not improvement. I mean, that's what we're seeing. Really, not much has changed in the last several hours since we've been here. Definitely looking hazy. And this morning, actually, three U.S. cities ranked among the top 10 worst places in the world for air quality. That was New York, D.C., and Detroit. Things have actually improved a little bit here in Philly, but not that much. We still have that code orange air quality alert in effect, which means the air is unhealthy for people in sensitive groups to be breathing in. So that's kids, the elderly, people with respiratory conditions. Philly actually joined New York in handing out free N95 masks this week at police and fire stations to help people stay safe with this going on. And I actually met a man who was wearing an N95 mask as he was uh, riding his bike to work five miles every day. And he said that it's really important for him to wear this as we've got these air quality effects in alert right now. Um, I think it's uh, very difficult to live in this in these conditions. Um, I work as a physician at the hospital of UPenn and, uh, you know, take my health seriously. I know there's a lot of smoke in the air. So, uh, so far, so good. Of course, a lot of people outside are asking us if this is going to happen again. And unfortunately, Fox Forecast Center thinks it could be kind of a theme of the summer. As long as those fires are still burning in Canada and there are still hundreds of active wildfires there, many of them out of control still today, uh, that depending on the wind direction, that smoke could make its way back into the U.S. Interestingly, Stephen, you mentioned as we head into the holiday weekend, what this will look like. Well, the Pennsylvania governor actually sent out an alert to everyone warning people to just leave the fireworks to the professionals because of the wildfire conditions we've had just in our state and also the drought conditions. It's very dry, something to keep in mind as we want to celebrate. Let's just leave it to the pros, right? <laughs> it, it might be a good idea there. And also fireworks sometimes can lead to poor air quality too, especially the morning after those displays. Mm. And so when you're dealing with some smoke, it does have a bit of a compounding effect. Fox Weather's Katie Byrne in Philadelphia, a bit of a smoky Philadelphia. Thank you for that. It's I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.